Hello and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Newsbaum. We are back talking political Islam with the scholar in the United States, Dr. Bill Warner. Please go to his website, Political Islam. I want you to read what he says in his own words, quoted right out of the source material, so you are educated into what we are talking about today. Welcome back, Dr. Bill Warner. Glad to be here. Let's talk today uh, specifically about what has happened to you and others who are quite simply holding up the Quran, the Hadith, the Surah, basically the background of Sharia, and saying, here's what it says, viewing audience, read along with me. It's been translated. And let's figure out what this means. That's what you've been doing, correct? That is all that I do. I teach about Allah and Muhammad. That's really all that I do. And I and use the source is, text. And, and, you, and, and I was going to add, and you're a scholar about it. In other words, it's not written in a way that people can't discern, well, where the hell did he get that idea? You quote it. And then you yeah. say, here, go look it up. Now, when I was studying in college and in grad school, that's the way you wrote a term paper. You didn't just make conclusions, you showed where the source was. Exactly. And that's what you're doing, Dr. Bill. That, I'm a scholar, that's what and, I do. And a former college professor, as we know. So how have you been received for your scholarship? Well, there's been some people who went, oh, my word, you make it all clear. Now, now I understand. I get that response. And that's the most pleasing. And then the other one is, you're a racist, hater, bigot, Islamophobe, Nazi, white nationalist, whatever your string of insults is. And it's not just me. It's anyone who tries to do what I do, Robert Spencer, whoever else. And what's the idea? Shut up, Bill Warner? Shut up. Don't talk about this. But it's the truth. I mean, I'm, Allah says right here, well, you're not interpreting it right. Or you need, you, we don't need to be listening to people like you. We need to be listening to an imam because you provide the wrong context. So they want, people are desperate to not know this material, Barry, because if you really understand what it's saying, it's like my whole life has to be changed. I, I remember the first time I read the Quran and, and I didn't have the benefit of your book that um, puts it in order of chronology so that I knew what the current version was because there's a lot of contradictions. It was confusing to me, but I got to be honest, it scared the hell out of me. I mean, it was some of the most violent, aggressive, totalitarian structures I'd ever looked at. And I didn't understand why everybody hadn't read it and understood it. So what is the purpose of the, what you called in one of our earlier episodes, the apologist for Islam? What is their purpose in getting you isolated and um, not listened to by the masses? If people like me would just shut up, people could go back to sleep. See, the problem is they're asleep and I keep saying, you need to wake up, you need to wake up. That's not a popular person. <clears throat> I know you talked earlier in one of our previous episodes about textbooks and you mentioned Tennessee. Is that going on nationwide? Of course. I mean, it's, these textbooks are sold across the entire United States. And who's writing them? Apologists for Islam. These are people who will do whatever it takes to be liked, to be told they're a good boy, good girl, and here's a paycheck. So mainstream media is not reporting on this. Mm -mm. Jihadis mm -mm. aren't mentioned. The affiliation of many of these people who commit atrocities um, are buried under, uh, my favorite one is workplace violence, or a mentally unstable person. Would you say that the mainstream press is complicit in the cover-up of what is happening here in America? Big time. 
I've never known of anything in the mainstream media that was written about Islam that was true. At, for, at the best, it rises to the level of half truth. Nobody wants to have this information because it would mean, one guy said to me, he says, Bill, your problem is this. It's like your best friend is married to the most beautiful woman in the world. She's worth a billion dollars and she's very charming and she's cheating on him. He doesn't want to know she's cheating on him because he's got too good a deal going. So he says, you bring nothing but bad news. And talk about being politically incorrect. It's hard to get more politically incorrect than I am. <laughs> well, social media seems to be on the opposite side of this equation. Since Bezo, well, Bezos is not really, uh, since these titans of Silicon Valley are ruling us, they don't care whether we're, what happens to someone like me. They have other uh, they have other agendas, and I'm not really sure what their agendas are. But they're not. If I ran a media outlet, I would not try to resolve the truth for anybody. I would say these people are having a fight. Here's what these people say. Here's what they say, and not try to resolve it. But instead, they try to say no. People like Bill, he's just wrong, and not only is he wrong, he's harmful. He's hurting minorities. So. What we're going to do here, I don't know about the social media because it's only getting worse and worse. I have one suggestion as to what may happen. We'll see. Uh, I'm dying to hear it. I think we're going to be driven back to pre-social media in politics. If you hold a political opinion that's not popular with the social media, I think we're going to go back to having been in the same room as somebody. And I see a future for all of all things as for brochures. I think that we're going to see more up close and personal political pressure that we have to exert ourselves because <clears throat> I don't mean to be a poopy pants here, but I think we're going to be entirely, I fully expect every day to open up my computer and discover that my YouTube channel is blown away. I've been blown away in other places. <clears throat> I have an organization in Europe and we're, we're now purged from uh, Facebook in Germany. And there's been a dreadful law ruling by the court in the EU, which is that if Czech Republic uh, uh, censors this, then everyone has to censor it in, in Europe. So we're going to see the censorship become worse and worse because they want to shut us up. And Barry, the reason they want to shut us up is they cannot debate with people such as me and other scholars. They can't debate us. So they're throwing debate out the window and just say, we'll go to the totalitarian model. Shut up. Well, it's a gloomy picture. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't think you're wrong. I happen to agree that it's getting worse. What's the, the Bill Warner solution suggestion? What's encouraging words for our listeners today to take away? Well, first off, we do have more and more people who are becoming educated about what the true doctrine of Islam is. What we're missing is that when individuals read this material, they become, realize that they're awakened and go, what are we gonna do? We, do, we have to furnish them with a people to work with. People such as myself who will go out on their own are freaks. We need to have it such that the people who are being awakened by reading books such as mine and others is they have a team of people they can work with so they have partners. And that is what I think the next critical step is, is that we're going to have to get to know each other more and we're going to have to partner up with people because we can't do it alone. And how would you suggest that happens? I'm working on that. When you're ready, well, we'll when bring I'm ready, you back. All right. Because I really want to hear the Dr. Bill's solution. We have to start working together. We can't, I cannot defeat Islam. Let's get clear here. Nor do I even think that in a moment that I could. But with the right group of people, I could do it. And so we're going to have to pull together the right group so that people will work together. Can people reach out to you through your website? Oh, sure. Do all the time. Matter of fact, an appreciable part of my day is spent dealing with my email input. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. He will look at your messages and he will get back to you. Politicalislam.com. Please check it out. For American Truth Project, ATP Report. Thanks for joining us. Before we go today, please take out your phones if you haven't done it already and text the word TRUTH. 88202 is where you send it. 88202. That will sign you up on our messaging service. It's always free. You'll get this and other videos almost daily from us, so you will be informed. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Nussbaum.